All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It is currently Christmas when I am recording, so as you can see, I've got my Christmas attire on. And uh, yes, I did get this for Christmas, so we're gonna be opening it right now because I am very excited. Now, see, this is a Costco thing. You know how like these alone, these ETBs are like 80 bucks. This was 50 plus the Pokeballs, so we're gonna open like right away with no cuts. We're gonna try and make this a fast video for you guys. Because if you like Pokemon TCG content, you know how you don't like the rambling and the stuff, so we're just gonna get right into it. But um, yeah, it is currently Christmas as of the time that I'm recording this. So I hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas and that you got everything that you wanted and yet you got to spend time with your family. So, off the bat, we got my favorite Pokeball, the Premier Ball. Isn't it great? I love the Premier Ball. It's what I use to catch all of my shinies in. I'm, I don't think there's anything left in there. So yeah, this is what we got here. The ETB and two Pokeballs. Most broken Pokeball in the game and then the most fanciest Pokeball in the game. Uh, I'm wondering, you know what, we'll go with the Pokeballs first. So we'll do that. All right, we're back. I have to keep cutting out the video, like to make uh, smaller files for it easier to upload. So if that's, if you notice anything off, that'll be why. And uh, I, I again forgot my mic, cause you know, silly me forgetting my mic. But we're just gonna, as I'm talking, dive into this, cause uh, all right, don't damage the Pokeball. It's not gonna be able to catch properly if you wanna catch a Pokemon with it. Made in China. All right, let's open it and see what we got inside. How do we... Oh, it's not coming off. Am I missing something? I don't wanna use my full force. Oh, okay, there we go, I guess I had to. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh my God, we got Vivid Voltage. I don't think I've ever opened a Vivid Voltage. There's Cosmic Eclipse in here? There's Cosmic Eclipse in here, guys. There's actually, like, there's Cosmic Eclipse. That's from Sun and Moon era. Are you joking? That's amazing. Okay, well, we're saving that for last, but we got Rebel Clash. These packs are like just destroyed. Let's hope the cards are in it are okay. And then we got our coin, a Swamper coin. Oh my God, these are old. This is incredible, guys. Like there's a Cosmic Eclipse pack in here. Well, I, I, I have, I'm speechless. Like who knows what we're gonna get out of that. I'm putting the Pokeball back together. Although it doesn't want to, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna open this too, and we're gonna just lay out the packs. Although the, I really hope I don't damage the Premier Ball. It's my favorite one. It's what I catch all of my shinies in, in uh, Scarlet and Violet. Cause um, back then in Dynamax raids, you kind of were forced to use the best Pokeball or else like you never caught them, right? So, um, but with Scarlet and Violet, you could just like full on save the game and do as many tries as you want. I also catch all the legendaries in this ball. Like it's my favorite Pokeball besides the Cherish Ball. So let's hope that there's Cosmic Eclipse in here too. Oh my god, there's Cosmic Eclipse, guys. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. And Vivid Voltage and Rebel Clash. Although, uh, Vivid's pretty good. I don't know about Rebel Clash. I've never opened it. I kind of stopped collecting around the uh, end of Sun and Moon and the beginning of the Sword and Shield era. So I never really got the chance to open you know, the big packs like Cosmic Eclipse and Evolving Skies and Team Up and all that good stuff. So I'm glad that we do have some Cosmic Eclipse that we will be saving for last in the Pokeball section at least. I will not make you guys wait the whole time for the Cosmic Eclipse. All right, so we're gonna start 
we'll, we'll alternate between Vivid Voltage and Rebel Clash. Let's hope the cards in here are okay, because the pack just seems to be absolutely obliterated. So, I, I'm not sure. They'll probably be fine though, considering it's more of the outside loose edges of the pack. Oh my. <clears throat> can tell you this isn't a loose print run of the voltage, that's for sure. Alright, so, I don't know how, it's been a while, I think. Yes, okay, so not revealing the code card. There you go. And I go four from the back since this is the Sword and Shield era. All right, Fire Energy, Swoobat, Loudred, Zeb Strika, glad to see you back in the Indigo Disc. It's been, I think it's been since Black and White we haven't been able to get Blitzel. All right, first is gonna be a regular rare, but that's okay. We're hopefully saving all of our luck for those Cosmic Eclipse packs. Although I love Lucario, that's such a nice card. Look at that artwork's amazing. I'm gonna put you to the like. I'm putting you to the back. Like that's actually very beautiful artwork right there. Lucario is one of my top three favorite Pokemon. So Zara, Aura, Lucario, and Smeargle are my three favorite Pokemon. I don't know whether that's basic or not, but I'll leave that up to you. And the code card. I revealed the code card. You know what? We're not doing the pack trick because I revealed the code card. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Yeah, this is back when they didn't have trainer galleries. So if you got the bad code card, you got the bad code card. There's no recovering from it. We are saving our luck for Cosmic Eclipse. That's what we're doing. That's how it's gonna go down. We're gonna pull an absolute banger of Cosmic Eclipse. Now, I've been thinking, right? Okay, I revealed the code card again. We're just gonna jump right in. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments below of how I can improve my videos and make things better for you guys to view and watch. Uh, Cause I don't know if you've noticed by the quality of my videos, I am just getting started here as a YouTuber, almost 500. And I'm really hoping to, oh, that ripped easily. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping to make it, you know, in the big time as a side job when I'm older. I revealed the code card, but that's okay. I think it's three from the back since this is sun and moon. Oh no, it's four, but the energy's not that important. Yeah, I revealed the code card, but there could, I think, be a secret rare. Nope. That though. Okay, we we still have one cosmic eclipse pack left. We've been saving our luck. We've been saving our luck. That's how it's gonna go. This one right here is gonna have the most amazing pull that we have ever pulled in our life. Oh, okay, there we go. Code card, and it is four from the back. I wasn't sure with the Sun and Moon era because I stopped collecting and I never really did the pack trick as a kid, so... Or did I? I don't remember much, but I do remember opening a crap ton of Guardians Rising. That was the set that I opened. Oh, we didn't get anything in Cosmic. It's kind of not surprising though. Cosmic's a very, very hard set to pull anything good out of. Alright, we jumped back. It is time. I was really hoping we'd get something out of that Cosmic Eclipse packs in there, but that's okay. We're still saving our luck. If anything, the ETB will bring us back, because I think you are guaranteed at least something. Like, the promo in there is, like, amazing already off the bat. And just the box, you know, like, it's nice and red and pretty. But we push it out like that. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, and we got the player's guide and we, we got all the cards in the base set. You guys don't wanna see that, that's boring, right? So, <clears throat> we're gonna just jump right in. This is a fast video, we're trying to make it as fast as possible. So I don't bore you guys, cause I like to make fast content and not just... Okay, we do have our promo. I love that promo. That is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe that they 
Pokeballs had cosmic eclipse in it. That's how old those Pokeballs were just lying around. But we do have the energies and the sleeves that nobody loves because I prefer the better sleeves, like the actual clear ones that you can actually see the card. And we do have a lot of Scarlet and Violet base set packs, so we're just gonna speed run these and hope that we get something absolutely amazing. Alright, first pack. We're gonna just jump right in. <clears throat> oh, the code cards. Uh, yeah, okay. So back then, in the Scarlet and Violet era, they were still like, oh, we should keep in the bad code cards. So there's gonna be, yeah, okay, so there's nothing in this one. <clears throat> so I guess, uh, because they still didn't change the card, like the, oh, okay. I see, you have to open it from the other side, but oh. Oh, hey, no, you do get, you do get something. Oh, okay, so I, do, do the code cards not matter then? Oh, oh, my sleeves, where are my sleeves? Okay, uh, I'm gonna get my sleeves. Alright, I got sleeves. We're gonna sleeve this Gyarados EX Terrastal form. Gyarados. One of the most prettiest cards in my opinion. I love, I love, love, love blue Pokemon cards. Like obviously the water and the ice type. Absolutely amazing. I, I love blue Pokemon cards. If I could have just a full blue page of Pokemon cards, that would be amazing. All right, next pack, all right. So I don't know whether the code cards mean that it's good or not. Cause like, we're just gonna skip right to the good part. No, nada. All right. Can we get something absolutely amazing? All right, skip to the good part. No. Alright, just keep trying. We still got plenty of packs left. And by plenty, I mean four or five, counting this one. Oh, oh, Magnezone EX. Okay, that's a new one as well. Alright, we're skipping straight to the good stuff here. Can we pull an Alt Art or a Secret Rare? I think I'd prefer an Alt Art. Although, you never know. Something tells me we ain't gonna get lucky, but you never know. We gotta keep the hopes up. I'm keeping them up. I'm trying to think positive. But at the end of the day, it's just fun opening Pokemon cards on my YouTube channel with my face barely intact on the camera. Oh, we do- Oh, that is- Oh. Why your head look like that, boy? Why does his head look like so small? Is that how he actually looks? No. His head. It's like they shrunk his head. Okay, that's a very good card. I love that. King Gambit alt art. Oh my god, is that ever beautiful. Ponyard, Bisharp, King Gambit. One of the best Pokemon from the Unova region. Obviously not King Gambit, but I don't know. Should we count evolutions from Scarlet and Violet like as Unovan Pokemon? Like, why couldn't people figure out how to evolve Bisharp into King Gambit earlier? Is what I'm saying. Oh, speak of the devil. See, no, his head is not small in that one. They made his head way too small in that one, I feel like. It, the proportions are off. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Alright, we have two more packs. That alt art is probably the best pull. Not alt art. I said alt art, didn't I? Yeah, I probably did. 
Alright, so nothing out of these. We got... We got one more. We have to get something really good in this. Because we haven't gotten, like, anything that good. I mean, that King Gambit, though. Aw, oh, dude. Alright. Aw, oh, that is, um, kinda... That's an L. That's a loss. That's a loss, unfortunately, guys. <laughs> I mean, we did get... We did get four cards out of God knows how many packs. That's all that matters. That's all that matters is just having fun, opening Pokemon cards on Christmas Day. <laughs> what did they do to his head? What did they do to his head? Like, why is it like that?